Hi friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another MariaDB tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the SQL delete statement. So let's get right to it. Just to refresh your memories from the last video, we were working on two tables in our tutorial database. The first is department, so I'm just going to describe the departments table. We have two fields, the ID and the text, and the second table was our employees table. And in the employees table, we have an ID, an employee ID, first name, last name, birth date, and a department ID, which is a foreign key that references the ID in the departments table. The SQL delete statement, as its name implies, allows us to delete records from one or more tables. And we're going to examine two different flavors of the delete statement in today's tutorial. The first version is delete without specifying a where clause. And that allows us basically to delete every record in a table. If we wanted to delete all of the records from the employees table, for example, the SQL delete statement would look like this. delete from employees. That would delete every record. And we're not going to do that because we wouldn't have any records left to play with. That's the first version of the delete statement. The second, which we're going to play around with in a little more detail, allows us to specify a where clause to narrow down the number of records that we're going to delete from a given table. And it looks like this. Delete from, then the table name, and then we specify a WHERE clause. And after WHERE, we specify a condition that has to evaluate to TRUE before the record is deleted from the table. So, for example, if we were to specify in our WHERE clause that we wanted to delete all employee records where the department ID was 1, we would say WHERE department ID equals 1. And if you recall from one of our last videos, we switched everyone out of department 1, so there shouldn't be anyone in that department. When we hit enter, we'll find out. Query was OK, meaning that delete from employees where department ID equals 1 is syntactically correct, but there were zero rows affected, meaning that there was no one that matched that WHERE clause where the department ID was 1. Let's have a look at the records in the employees table, and we'll use a select statement for that. Select asterisk from employees, and that will select all fields in every record in the employees table. And as you can see by looking at the records, there are no employees with a department ID of one. Let's now attempt to delete a record from the departments table delete from departments where ID equals 7, for example. We've set up a foreign key relationship between the department ID in the employees table and the ID in the departments table. And what that means is as long as there are records in the employees table with a department ID that exists in the departments table, that record in the departments table cannot be deleted. So the integrity of our database is maintained by that foreign key relationship. So for example, we do have records in our employees table where the department ID is 7, and because of that foreign key relationship to the departments table, we should not be able to delete the record where the ID is 7 in the departments table. So let's hit the Enter key. And correctly, we are unable to delete that record in the departments table with the ID of 7. We should, however, be able to delete the record with the ID of 1 in the departments table because there are no records in the employees table where the department ID is 1. So let's try that. Delete from departments where ID equals 1. 
In this case, that should succeed. Query is OK, so syntactically it is correct. One row affected. And now if we look at the records that are remaining, we should see that the record with ID of 1 in the department's table has been deleted. And we have only records with an ID of 2 through 7 remaining in the department's table. And one further example in the employees table. I'm going to delete employee number 1 in the employees table. This is Christine Nielsen. So we would say delete from employees where ID equals 1. One row affected. Now we'll do a select on the employees table and verify that Christine Nielsen no longer exists. You can craft your delete statement to target single records, as we just did in the case where ID equals 1, and we know there's only one record that exists with that ID. Or you can select groups of records, whereby you can specify a value for a field that exists multiple times in different records. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.